Hey everybody, it's Rory from Rock U with another One Minute Masterclass. So today I'm going to be showing you how to hold your drumsticks. So the general idea is you want to hold them one third of the way up the stick. Okay, so you can imagine two lines like this splitting your stick into thirds and that bottom one, that's where you're going to put your thumb on one side and then you put your index finger and middle finger on the other side of that thumb. And this is what's called the fulcrum. That's where most of the pressure is, okay? And that's where the stick is going to kind of teeter-totter or pivot uh, around as you hit the drum. Then you put your ring finger and pinkies, pinky finger, on the bottom of the stick like that, and therefore mainly stabilizing at this point, okay? After that, you want to learn how to hit the drum properly, okay? So there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can hit the drum with your knuckles up like this. That's called German grip, all right? So personally, when I'm playing snare drum, I always use German grip. That's with your right hand and left hand. All right, so I have my knuckles up. Now, a lot of people also use what's called French grip, which is with your thumbs up like this, okay? So, play like that. Uh, I use that when I'm playing my ride cymbal or hi-hat. Um, it can be another useful grip as well. Okay, but I would recommend starting off with the German grip, get really, really comfortable with that, and you'll use that, I use that more than anything, okay, German grip. There's one other grip that you might see some players use, you see a lot of jazz drummers use it, but there's also rock drummers as well, it's called traditional grip, okay, it looks cool, but I don't actually really recommend using it, because A, I don't use it, and B, it's just another thing to learn that isn't essential, I, I find, for most styles of drumming. So you again find your third of the way up the stick. So you get your two lines like this, and you're going to put that bottom third right between your thumb and your, the palm of your hand here. Okay. Then you open up these two fingers between your middle finger and ring finger, and you're going to put the stick like that. All right. So you're just gently resting your index and middle finger on top of the stick like this. And you kind of wrist motion like that. I'm not very good at it. I very rarely play like this. I play brushes like that, and that's about it. Okay. All right, so the thing that is way more important than holding your sticks is how you are hitting the drum. Okay? All the time, when I see beginner drummers playing, as soon as they start playing a drum beat especially, they're pushing their sticks into the drum, into the cymbals. Okay? That kills the sound. You would never play a guitar like that. You'd never play a bass like that. And you're not going to play the drums like that either, okay? You always want your sticks to rebound off the drum. Okay, when you do that, the snare drum or the toms, whatever, they're going to resonate a lot more, and it's going to just produce a much cleaner, clearer sound, okay? Another thing you want to watch out for is you hit the center of the snare drum, okay? So if there's dampening on the snare drum, you're not going to hear a big difference, but if there's no dampening on the snare drum and it's resonating freely, you'll hear there's a nice, clear, focused sound when you hit the center of the drum, but if you hit closer to the edges, like within an inch or three centimeters from the edge, the edges sound very high-pitched, very ringy, and it's just not the sound that you want for a, a rock song, for the most part. Okay, so to review, find your thirds, okay? You put your thumb on the bottom third, wrap your hand around like that, then the next step, hit the center of the drum, and get a nice rebound. If you can do those three things, you're well on your way to producing a great sound on the drums. That's it for today. Come back and join us again for another One Minute Masterclass.